And therefore, we are only requesting and advising that uh, let's use the figures that have been given because there is evidence that these people can be, any individual can be linked to a family and has a name. So with that, we have got 43 that uh, were able to perish in, in that disaster. Many have been injured and they've been treated. Others are still in hospital, like I did mention three, but the rest have been able to, to get back home and be united with their families. Now the focus is that uh, this rain, this rain will continue some time, until some time, maybe up to the end of December. And this is important. Why? Because when we know what lies ahead, it makes, us easy, it, makes it easy for us to prepare adequately. So what lies ahead is that there is, these friends are unlikely to subside before the end of December. And therefore, as government will continue to monitor the situation and undertake appropriate intervention mechanisms, as government, okay? But what about our people? We're therefore issuing an advisory that those living in high-risk areas, and I'll mention them, such as Lake Victoria Basin, Lower Tana Delta, coastal and central regions to move to safer areas. Among the multi-agency that I would wish to bring to your attention is one that looks at the extent of damage of bridges and roads that have been cut off. And this is Kenha, which is part of that multi-agency team. Without transportation, without people being able to move from one region to another, commerce is affected, um, aspect of livelihood are affected, health is affected, and therefore Kenna has been working round the clock to restore uh, broken bridges or collapsed bridges, broken down areas of um, uh, roads, and like, so you saw what happened in West Pocot, where several bridges, in fact three of them were uh, destroyed in one big sweep. But Ken has been able to create uh, alternative uh, passage and activities in that region are going on very well indeed. So the work that is they're currently undertaking is to ensure that those collapsed bridges are rebuilt again.